I just saw Rogue One, a Star Wars story, and well, it almost succeeds. Okay, so I didn't absolutely fall on my face loving the new Star Wars movie. Wait, wait, before all you Twitter trolls get your lightsabers in a knot, just stand down. I didn't hate it or think it was terrible, but much like the characters themselves, I find myself conflicted. We're asked to believe that protagonist Jyn Erso is a rebellious force to be reckoned with, pun intended. But we don't actually see very much evidence of this until well into the film. Until then, we have to be told that this is the case by other characters. This is also a problem with regards to Galen Erso, played by a criminally underutilized Mads Mikkelsen, and Batty Orson Krennic, played by the always incendiary but also underrepresented Ben Mendelsohn. But all is not lost. The world created by Gareth Edwards is gorgeous, expansive, and dark. The director has a knack for building out believable yet heightened worlds, and in Rogue One he takes us on a journey through the Star Wars universe that is unlike any before it. The pacing of the film is a problem, though. Rogue One couldn't seem to decide if it wanted to be a brooding, character-driven drama or a fast-paced action film, and in trying to do both, didn't entirely succeed at either one. This is a film about war, hope, revenge, and of course, the Force. Rogue One explores what lies at the heart of not only the Alliance Rebellion, but what it means to rise up and rebel in general. What will you become? Rogue One feels just enough like a Star Wars film to keep you invested, but does away with some of the more familiar Star Wars trappings to make us feel like we're experiencing something new. No opening crawl, no lightsaber fights, with the exception of one killer Darth Vader scene. Rogue One, a Star Wars story, is definitely a new experience that Star Wars fans will probably enjoy, but it's not perfect. Don't take my word for it, see it for yourself and formulate your own opinions. Because if there's one thing Jyn Erso would want you to do, it would be to go against the grain, to follow what's true for you. I rebel. For more Rogue One news, reviews, and more, keep it dialed to Fandemonium on uprocks.com. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.